y'all princella the queen maker went on to house of consciousness aka sinetta's channel and literally told everybody a new one is y'all ready to talk about it mm -hmm, i know i am too let's joke come on blazer it's a beat for me What's up, y'all? It's your girl Voodoo Doll TV back with a quick little juice or whatever the case may be. And listen, I don't want to do a whole bunch of talking. I'm only going to dip in where I need to dip in. But y'all got to see this video of Prince Cella, the Queen Maker. Now, just to give a little context, she's like, if you got, if you like Cynthia G, she's kind of like Cynthia G. I ain't going to say to the next level because Cynthia G is Cynthia G. But she basically has a large following basically exposing men to women. And the men cannot take it. So apparently Sinetta is having her on his channel so that they can do some sort of debate or whatever, uh, her and the pa. And basically they're going to debate can men, are men capable of love, right? Or capable of loving someone or knowing how to love. Something of, of that nature. A little yin, 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 right? So she's going on this channel because uh, they were basically talking about her. Girl, look, Nepal had something to say before she got there. The guys had something to say before she got there. Everybody had something to say before she got there. Sinetta was being neutral as he always does when he moderates. But he was being neutral like, well, look, I don't think she's wrong in a lot of things. And this is the thing. There's a lot of things that she's saying that is God honest truth. But when you look through the chat and you look through all of them people, girl, you realize people just want to be willfully ignorant. And people just want to be willfully like, you know. Like, they just don't want to admit to folks. And that's just that. So, girl, look, I'm going to start this video. And I'm only going to come back when I need to. But, girl, y'all got to see this video. Nepal, good luck on the debate. I don't know if it happened already. But good luck. Because you started changing your tune when she came up there and shut everything down. Do you hear me? When I tell you that girl came up there and everybody was quiet. True divine feminine. And mind you, let me just say this. This is the age of Aquarius, right? Y'all know that, right? That means that truth and, and everything honest is going to be coming forward. Everything that's been hidden in the dark will be coming to the light. So this was a very good video. And I love that this woman had all of them up there speechless. Okay. Now, before we get to the queen maker making her grand interest in her grand exit, we're going to listen to a little bit of what the other people were saying before she got there. Because, you know, they were talking cash money. You know what? You feel me? Let's take a look at it. And I'll come right back for some commentary. Let me I, see. So let me say this, though. All jokes aside. So. Yeah. I'm used to this, I'm used to running across this type of person. Been around for long enough to hear it. I forget mm -hmm. the sister's name. She was kind of weird like that, say all kind of stuff. But it, it, it's rooted in just wild misinformation about men. It's not, you know, what I'm saying it's not, it's not a healthy dose. Like we can have a good conversation over male and female relationships. We've had it on this show, right? We had it on um, Black News 102, pseudo killers, right? But when you just start making up wild claims and wild stuff, I'm starting to think you're just doing it to get some views at the point. That you're really not caring about whether black men do this or black women do that. You're just trying to get known. So this is a good chance for Nepal to beat her down. If she just attack her on the, the, the scientific aspect of the wild conversation is enough to blow her doors off, to be mm -hmm. honest with you. Because it's right. so out there. It is I so agree. far out the whole thing. Women was here first, and the men like it's wow. You know what I'm saying? And, but what and if so she I'm got a huge following the, though, unk, of women? Because be, be, because right, you know, women have been marginalized, right? And so you can come off, you can be a predator, yo. You know what I'm saying? And take advantage of people that's been marginalized. We see it on both sides of the scale. We see it with men taking advantage of the conscious community, right? Because they marginalized and don't have a great grasp of history, we see women come in and do the same thing. So the conversation is gonna be a wild conversation. You know, although I do not agree with pseudoisms, right? Um, if Nepal, if you go in there and just do it right, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna beat the brakes off of it because her whole conversation is wow. So let me come in and interrupt a little bit, shake up a little table, shake the table a little bit. So this dude, I think his name is Unc, I don't know him, don't really care. But um, he's basically trying to say that her, her message is far-fetched 
and um it's pseudoism so you know i had to go look up the pseudo definition right because i want to be clear as to what it is he's trying to say quick take a look at this so the first definition i found says pseudo supposed or purporting to be but not really so false not genuine pseudonym resembling or imitating pseudo hallucination its origin is from greek and it's like false or falsehood basically it's what it is from this definition now this one says it's adjective and not genuine spurious or sham when used in a sentence it says we are talking about real journalists and not the pseudo kind similar words are bogus sham and phony now, in the sense of a noun, it says a pretentious or insecure person, the artsy chat of a campus pseudo. That's a definition or like an example of the definition. So basically, this dude was basically up there trying to say that her argument was kind of false. Like it was, it has a pseudoism. Like it's kind of like some true and some false without even debunking anything that she said because he's just emotional. You know, they say we're supposed to be the emotional ones, but somehow you're going to see on this panel that men are way more emotional. But nevertheless, he tried to say that her argument wasn't true and it wasn't backed by science. But at the end of the day, sir, did you debunk it? No, you just talking out the side of your neck because you emotional. Let's finish listening. Yeah, I just wanted to ask. I look at a lot of her stuff. I love her debates. Uh, I just wanted to ask her, like, when you say the debate, I'm going to try to make sure I, I'll be here to watch that. But it says, can man love? And I just, for not Nepal, but Princess, is she talking about a romantic love or love, period? Because babies can love, kids can love, teenagers can love, and it just go away when man get a, uh, an adult, it just goes away. So what love is she talking about? Because everybody love is different. You know what I'm saying? She love her daughter. I don't love her daughter. I don't know her. But she love her. So everybody love is different than everybody else. So can she define it a little bit better so you can have a better understanding or what she's saying. Um, the thing too is everybody, listen, this woman, I, I have so much respect for her as a sister what, for what her journey is, but she's a, this is the danger. Uh, our brother Ankh said pseudo, but I want to, I want to make, I want to fine tune that. She's a great speaker. That's the danger. All of that yeah. stuff she said was yeah, absolutely all of that stuff that she said was absolutely not scientific. It was all just out of her mouth from under that ball cap. There is no such thing as male, okay. There's no such thing as males operating on just a male brain. There's not any neurology in science today or even in the past. If you're looking at mainstream, uh, uh, reliable, uh, conventional science. There's nothing about people operating on just a male brain. Okay, mainstream cutting edge new science, meaning neurology, neurology, not pseudo, shows that every human being has a, a male, so-called male and a so-called female uh, composition of their brain. Some have more and some have less. Now, so I just want to let you know, it, it sounds good. And that's, that's how a lot of people can win people over, but just basic uh, biology 101 or looking at neuro, just a basic, um, research on neurology and the brain, it shows that there's no such thing as just operating on just a male brain. That's ridiculous. I just want to show you the smooth talk. That is the that is no no offense to her because she 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 says it. She says yes, she's pimping. That is pimpology at its best with the way she smooths the way she talks. There is no male brain, and males don't only function on a male brain. That's ridiculous. So I figured I'd come in right here and kind of like um explain it, you know, dummy it down a little bit. So I'm just assuming, but I mean, going off of the context clues that I have so far, I'm going to figure this is what she means when she says the male brain. So you all know of anything called the left brain and the right brain. Some people think with the left brain, they think with logic. Some people who think with the right brain think with emotions. I believe that she could be either talking about the left brain or the right brain or... She could be saying that men have a certain way that their brain is manufactured due to testosterone and all these other things. And maybe that's why she's saying the male brain. Because we all know women and men do not operate the same. 
emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically at all. So there's something wired up there in that little head up there. You know what I'm saying? That basically has a man or makes a man act the way that he acts and makes a woman act the way that she acts. What we do know is there are a lot of similarities uh, between the two species within each other. Not that any of those similarities cross, or most of them. That's what maybe she was meaning. But you know, Nepal, you about to walk it back anyway. You about to, um, you know, go ahead on and hit the moonwalk. And I am here for it. Let's get into it. Sankofa, what's up, man? You want to say something, brother? This in homosexual relationships, do gays not get into domestic violence? I mean, I see females fighting all the time that are in relationships. And oftentimes in uh, female relationships, sometimes there are, there's one that's a male. You know, there's often one that is a man, dresses like a man, walks like a man, behaves like a man, fights like a man in every way. So I'm just confused. And my question to you guys, because I was watching and listening to her yesterday, I was just confused on what is her main premise i heard her say something of the nature that women should stay away from men is that what i'm hearing so she's saying that men and women should stop having relationships that hetero relationships should come to an end what what what, what is her point i'm trying to figure out what is her point and what does it have to do with the black man woman and child and our success and our future what does it have to do with that i'm that's my question you are welcome to hit the link at the top in the chat and you could come in and answer that sister I, I, I want to know as you, how it will always be pushing. respectful over here for you. It how will is be what respectful. he's pushing? How is what she's pushing gonna further the black man, woman, and child? I just want to know how is it gonna further the black family as a race of people by by what she's saying? Because I heard her say that women should stay away from men because we're no good. And then the other last question I have for that young lady, Priscilla, is has she never felt experienced love from a man at all? Not her her father, not her uncle, not her grandpa. She's never felt love from a black man in no shape, form, or fashion. And is she telling us that we don't love our children or we just can't love women or we don't love our babies either? We're incapable of loving our children. This shit is retarded. And I think that's why people are getting frustrated, Sob, not because we're afraid of what she's saying or we feel like she's talking to us. We feel like what she's saying is asinine and absolutely stupid and retarded. Why are we listening to this crap? Sonetto, can you look at your text message, please? Excuse me, brother. I didn't mean to cut you off. But I mean, that's all I want to say. I don't think that people are afraid of her, what she's saying. I think people are annoyed of her. And we feel like what she's saying is absolutely stupid and has nothing to do with the black man, woman, and child. And I'm out with that. So my piece is done. I'll, I just want somebody to tell me, what is her premise? What is what is her goal with this? All right, all right, all right, all right, brother. All right, brother. Um, how did you feel about um, Kevin Sam using his message, brother? I, to be honest, I, I applied a lot of the stuff that Kevin Samuels was saying oh. I applied it to men as well. What he was saying to women could kind of, and honestly, could go for both. I mean, we all heard him talk super bad to that dude. He was kind of big or whatever, fat dude that came on his show, and he talked Not bad to the dude, him. brother. I don't care about him talking to the dude. I'm saying, how do you feel about him and his views towards women, brother? Well, what I feel about Kevin and his views towards women, honestly, I felt like he was trying to get the black man and woman to realize that they need to lower their expectations. Sometimes we have our expectations are out the roof that we have for the- How about sex. telling women that they not gonna make it because they had this type of weight or, you know, certain things like that. He was going in- Or, or not, brother. excuse me, King, not just weight, telling women because they yeah. have children with black men, yeah. children of pri prior relationships that they're just not, nobody will want them of value. Yeah, because- And I love got, Kevin. I love Kevin, rest in power, but that was a horrible message, and I've always said that. I think, yes, I, okay, to some degrees, yes, that, that definitely is a horrible message. But was he saying that the black woman is incapable of loving the black man and her black sons and her black daughters? No. So to say that black men are incapable of loving other black people, whether it's our moms, because I love my mom, or our fathers, I love my father, or my daughter, I love my daughter. You know Priscilla daughter. right here, so right? you just sound like an idiot. Is that it, the queen maker? No, that ain't her. Yeah, it looks like her, right? That's her. Yeah, that's her. That's me. It just, it, just sounds, <laughs> right. it just sounds crazy. I don't, I'm just... All right, like, all right, brother, hold on. Now, here she goes. She can answer you. Keep the ahead, same energy. <laughs> yeah, peace, peace, Princella. This is the queen maker. Energy. She joined peace, us. Peace. Peace. Hello, hello, hello. All right, so before I get started, 
I want to I want to say this. I'm not going back and forth with no emotionalism. See, right. you you can feel how you want to feel. And I'm going to tell you straight up that I do not care. You can be mad. You can be huh. in your feelings. I don't give a fuck. OK, secondly, secondly, I don't even talk about, quote unquote, black men. Y'all think y'all so significant that I'm going to make a whole channel and write a whole book about you, sweetheart. My message is global. The last guest that I had on my show was a primatologist, right? See, I speak to scholars, right? My next guest is a psychotherapist. I'm not going back and forth with, <laughs> I'm not going back and forth with no kids. See, y'all can make panels and talk about me all you want to, but let me tell you something. I got a following that's growing large. And so one thing people going to do is you're going to respect me. And if you don't, I don't got to talk to you because one thing is y'all know what men are doing to women and it's women's experiences with y'all that is making them leave you. See, you can't convince somebody who actually is having great experiences to see that they're having bad experiences. It's something that y'all doing to these women and y'all mad because I got the wisdom to turn the light on in these women and make them stand up for themselves. Now, uh -oh. if, that, if, if that shit hurts y'all because you don't get to abuse women and use them, get your dick sucked and all this shit and get your ego stroke, let me tell you something. I don't give of two motherfucks, right? So you can make all of this shit that you want to, but let me tell you something. On my channel, which is clear that y'all don't watch because I got people up here talking shit that they don't know nothing about, you ain't watch my channel. Every single thing that I say, I back up with scientific research. I have, I have professionals that Leave validate man. yeah don't, don't talk to me because i drop off this motherfucker because i'm telling you i'm not out here playing no games see i'm not young pharaoh i'm not out here intellectually masturbating because i don't have to debate nobody because let me tell you something what you're gonna be debating in your house is a bitch leaving you if you don't get your act together that's what you're gonna be debating so you might wanna y'all might wanna actually learn and ask me what it is that I know as opposed to running your mouth and talking about something that you ain't even looked into. Because guess what? I post peer reviewed research papers and I dissect those research papers on my show. So y'all saying what is pseudo, baby, you're not gonna convince the people who spend hours watching my stuff. You're not because they see what I do and they see the truth. And so all this gaslighting that y'all doing, hey, you gonna come to me with some scholarly stuff or y'all gonna be in your feelings and I'm not gonna engage you because y'all are a waste of my time. Because at this point, all these killings that are happening, all these rapes and molestations that are happening at the hands of men, that shit finna stop. It's not, I, I'm sick of the, the bullshit that y'all try to defend. Y'all don't want to take no responsibility for your fucked up behavior. And then you think that a bitch is supposed to keep stroking your ego. They do everything that you say they supposed to do and you still fuck over them. I am about the woman. I'm not about y'all's ego and I don't give a fuck what y'all think. I'm just letting you know that straight up. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Can I, can I speak to that though, Saul? You're going to play this little game. How we doing this? No. I'll let no. Nepal speak. I'll let Nepal speak because Nepal right. the one that's going to debate it. Yeah, and you know what? I'm, I can't, right. for what she just said right here, I'm, I have to say I'm 100%. See, I stand with her on what she just said. I'm talking about the debate about spining the science after I read her book and the men can't love. Everything she just said, I, I stand with her on that. So it's really hard for, you know, it, yeah, it's a debate. But she's right, it is real life. I can't, I will not come behind her and say, oh no, she's wrong. And she's absolutely right in the statements she just made right now about men. But I'm going to be, we already decided, respectfully talking about her her philosophy and her, her teachings and her book on the science and the and the research that she did on men can't love. And I'm gonna come from there. So that's all I have to say. I, I've already told her. I respect her as far as the her fire for men. I don't feel that way about men as far as I'm done with you guys. 
I'm done with you, man. I love men. I have male. She knows I said this. I have a male son. I have, I've had good experiences with father, my father, my brothers. However, let's talk about what she just said about how nobody on the panel who's male said, you know what? You're right about what we've done to women. Let's talk about that. Nobody came in and said, oh. let's, let's, we did do something wrong. You know, oh, like oh, we're not, we're not imagining, we're not imagining how she got to this place. She, we, even Dulcinea, who agrees with my philosophy uh, more than the sister, than, than, than Princellas, we can't deny that our, that we women are downtrodden and as Reggie said, I think marginalized and abused and, and even in every single environment that is a, supposed to be scholarly environment. I know I come into the environment and I'm like, Oh, I don't want to debate women. I don't want to debate. So I can't, I'm not going against her on that. I, I tell, just, let me tell you, hey, hey, hold on, hold on, Priscilla, Priscilla, yeah. um, please no profanity. Okay, no problem. Yes, thank men, you. men love women so much that the average, the, the research has showed that underage pregnancies are happening at the hands of males who are over 25, right? They love so much that they are abusing children and getting them pregnant. Back in the ages where these guys claim that women kicked them out the house for welfare. I broke down 1973 CBS report and 1968. Let me tell you, those males was knocking up 12 year old girls. The youngest was 12 and they just couldn't stop. I don't want to hear nothing coming out the mouth of a male because you let the male talk, he ain't did nothing wrong. I'm sick of this shit. I'm telling you. I don't want to hear nothing y'all talking about. I'm serious. Uh -oh, because she coming with just, statistics, what I'm, uh -huh. what, I'm, what I'm saying here, I am serious about my movement. I am not stroking male egos. I care about these kids that y'all harming. I don't care about how you, we are the leaders. Show me what you leading besides what's in your pants. You ain't uh, even leading uh, that right. Let me ask you, Priscilla. Yes, do sir. you hate your brother? Do you hate your brother? Because if you are in a situation and there's no men around you and there's women around you, did you see that situation when that white man got out of his car and punched that sister in her face? I think it happened in Texas. Yeah, Am she I was right? pregnant and the brother she jumped in. She was pregnant. Nobody jumped in the park. What well, what well, did you see? Did you see the No, woman? no, no, I'm asking you. Um, do you have you don't have you have absolutely no love for your brother? What you mean no love? What, what, what I'm mean? saying is you know what I'm talking about. You have no concern, no love, you don't want no relationship L dealing with the black man at all. Listen, what are black men? Is it pure do? hate listen, that you have? Listen, y'all got man? listen, y'all got hate for yourself because it's like this. You'll sit up here and ask me this. You'll sit up here and ask me this, but you won't ask, well, Priscilla, why did you, why did a black man rape you at 12 years old? Huh? Uh. Huh? Listen, cut this crap that y'all doing out. Please, please address the degeneracy of males. Y'all always want a woman to stroke y'all's ego so y'all can feel better and look better. Y'all use women as shields. Stop asking mm. me how I feel about the male's degenerate behavior. He's knocking up children. He's raping children. I just pulled up a research paper or a study from the Department of Criminal Justice that black women in two parent households are 1.75 times more likely than white women to experience child sexual abuse. These fathers are raping their own damn daughters. Stop asking me about anything about these dudes because I am serious about what I'm doing. I am serious. Y'all yeah. on the internet playing. Y'all on the mm. internet intellectually masturbating. I'm waking up women all around mm. the world. Y'all gonna stop playing with me.
Um, you want to respond to that? Um, how do you feel about what she's saying? I mean, if you allow me to, if you're not gonna cut me off and play this little shameful game, if you let me have a conversation, I can handle a conversation. Go ahead. Uh, yes, Miss Priscilla. Um, how you doing? First of all, I'd like to say how you doing. I'm doing well. And I'm sorry for your experience as a youngster. That shouldn't have happened to you, and that was completely out of order. So I don't defend bad behavior. I think for me, to, I think for me, the conversation is I understand how women have been marginalized through history. I clearly do that. And uh, I think it's very disrespectful that men do that on a regular basis. I think my issue with, with you is, no, I have not looked at your channel, so I don't know the full range of scope. But the things I heard, the misinformation based around science, because that's my job, right? I feel like you have a strong enough argument about what men do and what they don't do that you do not have to mix in pseudoisms. Now, for me, what is pseudo? Once, tell me what. Well, tell me what did I say that is pseudo? Well, the, the women was here on Earth first. You know the whole package, right? Oh wait, 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 wait hold on. Just let me finish my point. No, no, I, no, I just no. You said that was pseudo. Point. But no, you let me said finish my pseudo. point. Listen, I'm simply saying I feel like that your argument is strong enough without pseudoisms in it. I think you can make your whole case, right? And don't get in dove into the realm of science. I think your studies are pretty much sound that you're talking about, right? I just read a study on rape and how that goes back and forth, the whole nine yards. But but the misinformation on science, because that's my job. I, I educate the community on scientific literacy so that they can listen to a conversation and know what's misinformation and what's not. I just Sorry, feel like don't, do that, you know let me that finish I... my point, I'm gonna shut up. I feel like your argument, right, for women to help them marginalize population in America, I think it's a damn good one. But when you introduce the young feral information, it's when I jump off the ship. That's all I'm saying. So okay. I'm a little bit afraid to really, you know, embrace everything you're saying because I'm I'm figuring like you might mix it in a little bit. Sir, That's sir, all I'm sir. saying, Sister Basilla. No, no okay. cap, no plan with you, and I'm not on here playing. Trust okay. me. Okay. So the first things first, if you're gonna talk about logic and rationale and facts, one thing you can't do is open this thing up and say, well, I ain't looked at your stuff, so I really don't know. So you're going off a of third party information. That's first and foremost. So you done already lost. That I didn't say there. that, sis. I, I, That's I, not on, what I said. On, I said I didn't look at your whole range hold of information. You, you ain't. You haven't. So right. But what I two, did here was hold on, very hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Number two, it's a fact that the oldest bones on planet Earth are of a female, right? The oldest bones. So here's uh -oh. the thing. So, so, so See, I thought you the, weren't going to do all that, so. <laughs> so, so, so here's the thing. What I don't, what I teach my ladies is to slow down the conversation. I don't let nobody fast talk me. I don't let nobody fast talk me. So all that I feel this, I don't care how you feel. First and foremost, everything I say is backed up by scientific fact from the, the effects of testosterone on the male brain. Testosterone is responsible for aggression. Testosterone uh, uh, is concentrated in the male body 15 times more than the female body. So here's the thing aggression and brutality is a part of the male nature that's in y'all. And guess what? You have to flex willpower in order to control yourself. And guess what? Willpower don't last long because it takes so much energy to control. This is the reason why the majority of the jails are populated with males because it's in your nature and you can't stop it unless somebody force you to, all right? So we are gonna cut out all this other stuff. I don't care about y'all ego. I'm gonna say that one more time. I don't care about your image. I don't care about how you feel. And here's the thing. I what's understood don't need to be said. I don't have to debate nobody on fact. Because one thing I'm not trying to do is I'm not trying to convince y'all or nothing. I'm through talking to males. I'm through reasoning with y'all. So here's the thing. One, a nation can rise no higher than this woman. I'm talking to them. And if y'all want my attention, you going to talk to me like you got some sense. Or I don't have to talk to y'all. Because I don't care what y'all feel. I don't care what you think. I'm going to keep talking to these women. So either y'all going to bow down to the truth or you ain't going to talk to me because I'm seriously not playing with y'all. I am not. I Can I ask you. a I question? Feel you, I feel you. Go ahead. Go ahead, Dulcinea. Okay, so I want to get a clear understanding of when you bring up the testosterone and it's uh, the aggression, how are you separating that 
that the same aggression or testosterone that can lead to the minority of men that are doing the crimes, as you say, are the same testosterone that has the police force full of men that protect us. The same testosterone has the fire department full of men that protect the, the, the us. Same, I'm not the done same asking, asking, asking the question, Priscilla. I just want to make sure it's clear what I'm asking before, before you answer. So I do understand what you're saying, but we, we utilize that testosterone for our protection when it comes to family and for our, our country's protection and all countries' protection. So how do you then negate as far as testosterone is what men use to protect us? Yeah, well, that's real That's real interesting coming from a so-called pro-black channel, the people who bitch, whine, and complain about trigger-happy cops killing y'all asses. They, they protecting you, though, huh? Right? Try not they the profanity, Priscilla. They, 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 they protecting you, though, right? So y'all pick and choose what you want to say is protection and what's oppression. Clearly, hey, it's, it's criminality going on in these gangs. It's the pro-Black group that always talk about the, the police department, the CIA, and all these being legalized gangs that do all of male nature with permission because of a badge so here's the thing if you ain't gonna be honest and you just want to argue with me just to argue and pick and choose what you want to defend i'm out on that because let mm. me tell you one more time again i'm not trying to convince y'all of nothing y'all can believe whatever you want to believe because baby it ain't just black women following me baby i got the globe following me white women black women asian women all mexican women all over the world y'all gonna stop playing with me and thinking that i'm i'm stuck in this pro black program like y'all are baby i'm mm. talking about males all over the globe the black male right. is not that significant for me to focus my attention on because guess what? It was a Mexican man that took a dog on sword and chopped this woman head off. Head off. They sent him pictures of dead bodies of women and laughing at them. These guys yeah. are sadistic. I don't know what y'all own. I don't know what y'all own. But I am about the globe. I'm about the world. Y'all ain't even that important for me to focus on talking about no black men and black women relationships. You just not. So if y'all ain't watching my material, if you not watching it and you going off a of third second hand information because you in your feelings, you really don't even qualify to talk to me. You really don't even qualify to ask me no questions because you ain't really interested in what I talk about. Because if you were, you would be watching my show, but you ain't. Y'all just and wait, to talk excuse about me, Princella. Uh, and can you drop? We need to have the link to the sister's channel and her book. If you could get that to the people in the chat, right, Sun Knitter, so right. we can have more people check your book out, um, uh, find out what you teach and do the research and then come back with, you know, either agree on everything you say or, you know, ask you some questions that are relevant to what your platform is and what your uh, teachings are and that takes me back to the debate the sister is you know she is she does have a movement you know she has a movement she does have a following i told you guys in the beginning she's got ev a lot of women following her movement and i i come back to the point about the men that's the i'm gonna be real the only thing, and I've talked to you, Prince, and I'll talk to you directly. I'm still doing the research on you, listening to you, and your, you know, I haven't, I'm, I'm working right now so much. I haven't done your workshop. I did get your book. I got your book. I haven't been able to read all of it. But um, my point is, I appreciate you taking the debate be, because of your movement. Okay, I have to sit down with you about the the male part. I I, I do have questions. Um, you probably answered them in your in your teaching somewhere. You've done a lot of classes, a lot of workshops, a lot. You've written what two books so far? But I just can't get around the part about the male love. That's where, and I know a lot of women have told you this. 
that's where I say, no, I can't. I mean, the, the, it's too, I see it. It's, it's not good. about my feelings. Yeah. No, but but, but, guess, no, but that's what, not... what I'm saying, Queen, is that's why I do want to do, you know, the exhibition. I, I'm calling the debate. It will be a debate. But really, I really want people to hear women like me and, and like other women like me. I'll be the voice of, well, what about this about the male in love? What about this? And then you, that's your opportunity to come in and say, I, this is where the facts are from from your end. This is what you teach. This is what you've discovered. So that's the that's why I said it's going to be respectful, and it is not just intellectual. You know, as you say, masturbation. It is still a part of educating everybody, especially women and 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 men. I'm about like I said. I'm about everybody, male and female. I know you're not. So you're, and I, I damn sure know you're not trying to convince any, anybody to men, but I, I do want to get those questions all on the table. Every single thing about the science, all the male science that Delta was kind of touching on all the things about testosterone, all the things about the degeneration of the, of the Y chromosome. I want to put that all out there and I want to hear you come into that debate and knock all of that off the table if you can you know so I that's, that's what we're looking for you. Mm -hmm. i, I want to say this mm -hmm. it's a lot of it's a lot of people that disagree with me on men being incapable of love but guess what their minds have changed i changed their mind because let me tell you something i don't pull stuff out of thin air i really don't and i can prove my claims right i could prove my claims let me tell you something we can't be so intellectual, right? We're supposed to be so scientific, but we don't understand energy. Everybody talk about energy and frequency and don't even understand this because if they understood it, they would understand that energy and frequencies flow. It's all fluid. So anytime a person is saying that I only compartmentalize my love here and it don't flow that tells you in and of itself that that person is not capable of love because love is a flowing energy that don't pick and choose how it's gonna flow it just flows right so the fact that people don't even know what love is, how it's composed, how it's structured, they can't even tell you. The average male thinks that love is in his penis. The, the male literally has sex to release energy. He also has sex to quote unquote express love. It comes from the same place. And now we have women who have been played multiple times, who have multiple children by multiple males, gonna sit up here and try to say what love is and they have no earthly idea. They don't even know how to love themselves. How the hell you gonna talk about love and you don't even know how to love yourself and don't even know where to start? But you can say if somebody else is or is not capable of love. Let me tell you, I can say what a leader looks like if a person is or is not capable of leadership. One, clearly I'm a leader. <laughs> the evidence is right in front of your face. But not only can you see the evidence, I have a background. I got commissioned as a officer in the military. I went through officer candidate school. I, I, I worked a job where I was 100% sales which means I had to manage my own career and discipline myself, right? I know what leadership is. So I can look at somebody and tell if they are a leader or not, or if they are or are not capable of leadership. In order for you to say if somebody is or is not capable of love, first and foremost, you got to know what love is. The average person can't even tell me. So right, and you teach this? you teach that in your book, right? That the one the uh, the the five components is the one I have. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, and, and yeah, and in my love men and manipulation decoded workshop. So people, if mm -hmm. they really want to know how cold I am with psychology, 
and, and science. If you really want to know how cold I am, all you got to do is watch the video I did last night. How I broke down. I did to... watch that, by the way. <laughs> right, right. So we can see... I watched it live when you were live. So we can see all that stuff that I broke down that I didn't pull out of thin air. Because guess what? People worship the ground. People worship the ground uh, Andrew Tate walk on, right? They aspire to be like him. If did anything that Andrew Tate was saying was that anywhere near love? No, no, I, he's no. definitely the opposite of love. He's okay. the, the, so yeah. why? How can you say that people who look up to the likes of Kevin Samuels, who also didn't operate on love? They look up and aspire to be like these people who don't even exhibit the concept of love. Like attracts like. Like thinks like like. Birds of a feather flock together. You Let me ask you, Priscilla. You can... Priscilla. Let yeah. me ask you. This is the last question. Because we want to talk about the up and coming debate we got this Sunday with Brother Jabari going up against Ali Muhammad. <clears throat> I want to ask you, um, just to be clear, I want to know, are you saying, now I'm just asking you, are you saying that men are incapable of loving their daughters? Are you also saying loving their family? Or are you talking about their counterpart, their woman, their, their girlfriend, their wife? Um, when you say men are incapable of love, does that include the whole, what yes. you're saying? Yeah, it does. It does. Now, a man can love a car. He can love, he can love inanimate objects. He can actually even love other men. But yeah, you he said cannot, that. he cannot love a woman and he can't even love his daughters. You know why? Why? Because the male's ego is threatened by women. The very existence of a woman threatens the male. Here's the thing. I got a friend. His dad is in competition with him. His dad does not like the fact that his son is outdoing him. He's not even happy about it. He tries to sabotage his own son, right? So here's the thing. The male's ego is too fragile to be happy for other people. The male will not allow a woman to go on and be herself without him being involved. This idea of possession, control, and ownership is the exact opposite of love. So y'all don't even know what love is if you think that love has anything to do with possession and ownership. I mean, Michael Jackson even sung it in, in that song um, that he got on Thriller. What was it? Uh, She's out of my life. She's out of my life. Love, he says it in the song. Love is not possession. The male thinks he owns women. The very fact that you think you own a woman and can't allow her to be herself and not what you have to make her be for what you need tells you that you ain't capable of love. You not. Because everything right. is centered around y'all. All right, so here's thank the thing. you. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this, yes. and I'm gonna let y'all, I'm gonna let y'all go. Did yeah. you drop so your link, sis? Uh, did they get her link? I don't mean to interrupt you, but for the book, so people who need to know about it and your channel. I don't mean to interrupt everybody, you, but everybody mods, if you can, we have the greatest mods here in this in HOK. Can you drop her link to her channel and the book, her book, to, uh, to your website too, Princella? What is what is it? Uh, can you? Website. My website is princellatequeenmaker.com. Princellatequeenmaker.com. Okay, great. Go ahead, Priscilla. Any last words before you go? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm say this, and I say it a lot. The reason that the majority of y'all have an issue with me claiming that men are incapable of love, which is a which is a fact, and I can prove it. Okay, with science, with science, not out of the not out of the crack of my behind. Ah. The reason that y'all have a problem with it, it is because y'all manipulative selves use love <laughs> to get your needs met. You depend.
depend on women believing that you can love so that you can get everything that you need out of her. If she don't believe that you can love, it make y'all job 10 times harder. A lot of y'all dudes already ain't having sex. You already struggling in this world of quote unquote oppression against you. So you need a woman to buy into the fact that you, to, to buy in this idea that you love so you can help yourself. And you scared that these women going to change their mind and stop letting you use them. But see, when y'all got the, when y'all had the power, y'all blew it. You didn't use it righteously. You just dug into these women. You dug and you hurt them. You abused them. And then when she complained about it, you threw it back up in her face and said, you should have chose better. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, they sure is going to choose better because I'm tired of what y'all doing to them. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. So huh. you better get you better get your act together. You better, you better drop that bomb, son. You Y'all better start learning stop how to play. He's gonna do it if you allow him to do There's it. There's a new sheriff in town. God damn it! <laughs> Y'all brothers yeah, better please. wake don't up. Go, don't don't go. Go. Yeah. Um, please don't go. Let me go. But hey, I see um, y'all. Thank you, thank you. For I think home. somebody yeah. wanted to say something. Yeah, please, Phil. Please, Phil. So did mama clear or did mama clear? Did you see how all their faces was everybody was mums the word? Mama cleared as she should. Let me say this. What we not about to do is act like what the lady is saying is false. As far as her saying alienate yourself up from all men, if you don't want to do that, don't do that. You got to, what they say with Kevin Samuels, eat the meat and take out the bones or spit out the bones. You got to do that. You know what I'm saying? So when she got up there saying what was actual factual, they couldn't say nothing. And then the responses from the Paul is like, oh, I'm, I, you know, because sister, we're going to debate, sister. We're going to debate, girl. Bye. Because when she got up there spitting facts, the very first thing you said was, I cannot negate or go against anything she just said in that partic particular situation in that sentence. That tells you that she's speaking truth. Y'all can call it pimping. Y'all can call it whatever you want. I personally don't follow her. I've seen her on TikTok multiple times, but I don't personally follow her. But I do, when I see her, she do be spitting some true stuff. And that's facts. I'm just confused as to how all these big rah rahs was talking all of that smack and when she got up there everybody was mom's the word and then the dude um he decided to chime in and, and and say what he had to say but it really wasn't it really didn't do anything for for his argument if it makes sense because you're calling this girl argument pseudo when it's fact like she said, all my stuff come from peer review research. These are facts. Like, I'm not making this shit up. See, this is the difference, too. And this is what I didn't like. When Kevin Samuels uh, was roaming the earth, terrorizing the black community and black women in particular, all of them men was able to say, oh, I take certain things from him, right? Just like the first dude who got up there before she got up there. What did um, Sinetta say? Hey, well, what do you think about Kevin Samuels? Kevin Samuels used to get up here and do the same thing and, and tear down women. What did you think about him? And what is his response? Well, no, but see, he was building up the community. Kevin Samuels ain't build up nothing. I don't care what he tell y'all, who he tell y'all, DM him in the, in, in the back channel and all of that. That man didn't build up nothing when it pertained to black women. Nothing. If anything, he drove a divide. I personally, I stopped watching them. I, di I didn't watch them. I didn't want to be triggered every day. So I didn't watch them. But when I would see the clips of these women going up there getting towed down from, from the flow down, I never understood that. Neither here nor there. The point I'm making is now Kevin Samuels has gone on to pass, gone on to his glory, whatever that may be. And now you have created the Prince of the Queen Makers. And you Negroes can't take it. Yes. <laughs> God, she told them down to the ground. Okay. Um, Shout out to Priscilla, the queen maker, number one. Number two, I love that Sarnetta is not like on some, you know, attack this woman type of stuff. He actually held the panel really, really well and told them they will respect her. Um, I like that. Napa, I mean, not Napa. I'm going to get to her in a second. But Sarnetta really did a good job in moderating that whole situation because even though she came out strong, telling them she don't give a damn about what they think and she ain't trying to convince them, the doggone comment section was going haywire saying that she was hurt. And let's just clear this up. The first thing you want to say is, did she have a father in her life? Yes. 
Now what? I did too. Still there. My daddy's still there. By my mama. Married. 40 years this year. What's up? Because see, people, I find people who don't have fathers, men in particular, who don't have fathers, they be the first one to say, well, did she have a father in her life? Did you? I'll wait. Because see, y'all don't be want to talk about all of that. The fact of the matter is she got up there and cleared that whole panel. Cleared them. Cle period. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they mad and they can't take it. And at this point in time, it's just like, so what? At the end of the day, the real message of this is, though, for real, women, and black women in particular, I ain't talking about the clear people, I ain't talking about the semi-pseudo clear people, I'm talking about us, you know what I'm saying? What I can say is, we are the least protected, and that's kind of like a cliche thing, but let's just get into the meat, but meat and potatoes of it. We endure every single thing, from the family, the husband, the job, the world, the internet, the gays, the straights, the lesbians, the LGBTQI, everybody in there. We carry every single thing on our backs. Every single thing. And we are expected to just overcome. And we do. But ultimately, women are getting tired. That's just the fact of the matter. Women are getting tired. Women do not want to be uh, what do you call the, the butt in the brunt of your jokes? Because at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of men's time is running up. We already got incels. Y'all know incels, involuntary, involuntary celibate or something like that. It's just dudes who can't get no cooch. After a while here, it's going to be a whole lot of them. More than what they already have. Y'all best to get your act together. Like Francella said, you need to be asking me questions instead of going out and doing all this rah, rah, rah because you ain't helping the cause because these women about to leave y'all. Nah, that's what she said. That's what she said. Girl, cleared. I'm talking about the, your access denied. Denied. What's up? Shout out to Prince Seller, man. I, I am so, like, happy I stumbled across that video. You know, I be liking to do my little reaction videos or whatever to see what y'all think about it. Um, you know, I don't know if that debate happened or whatever. I really, I I don't need to watch it, to be honest. Because I don't, I don't like that energy on me like that. You know, the whole male versus female thing. But ultimately, there's truth that needs to be told. And she told her truth. It's not just her truth, the truth. A lot of women out there feel the same way. What y'all think about that, though? Y'all drop down in the comments and let me know. I'm here waiting for the comment section. What's up? But, um, yeah, seriously, though, y'all jump in the comment section and let me know what y'all think about that video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Oh, my daughter said I, I need to tell y'all to share the video, too. So, share the video. <laughs> yeah, share the video Um, and all of that. You know what I'm saying? And, um, I'll see y'all later, girl. Bye. Mr. Carroll, how you give the voodoo dog time to talk? I don't get no fucking time to talk. Who the voodoo dog is? That nigga you just had up here.